Hello my dear students. Today we will start our new chapter that is means of communication. And in this chapter we will basically discuss the meaning of communication. How the communication was. I mean the history of communication. I mean in the ancient time. How people did communicate to each other. Right. Next we will also uh, understand that what are the types of communication in today's world that means today's modern worlds and obviously including that we will understand what are the purposes or what are the objectives of the communication and at last I will give you some important questions which can be uh, I mean very essential from your I mean for your exam purpose now let's uh, start this so basically um, First of all, we should know that is what is communication? What is the communication here? Okay, so let's uh, start discussing that. That is what is actually the means of communication. See, <coughs> communication is a very important in our life. The process, I mean, if, if, if anybody asks that, tell me what is communication, then what should we do? What should we uh, tell? The answer should be the process of sending and receiving messages from people is called communication. So that means communication is a, is a broader process. Suppose you are this. Suppose you are this. And this is your friends. Right. So you will communicating I mean when you are communicating with your friend that means you are continuously giving some messages and your friend is actually receiving that okay and whenever after receiving that particular message or particular information whatever it is your friend is giving the reaction so this is the kind of communication so i hope you understood what is the meaning of communication here so we can you can see that that now giving information or giving any um <clears throat> advice or suggestion whatever you 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 can say that is you can express your feeling by communicating right suppose i am asking you uh, that <clears throat> what is your name so that means i am interested about you right i want to know about you that is why i'm asking your name right and you are telling me that ma'am my name is shomallo or ma'am my name is akanksha or ma'am my name is uh, shankho or my name is uh, jyotika whatever it is so that means after you have received my question that means you have received my information and after receiving the information you are answering my question right so that means uh, and suppose the next question I'm asking you that uh, what what do you want in your life and then you are telling me that ma'am I want to become this or I want to become that I want to become a dancer or lawyer or doctor or engineer whatever it is or a, a, an actor or a stuntman whatever it is so that means you can express your feelings you can express your feelings by speaking by writing or by any kind of facial in information or facial expression so this is the mechanism of communication so this is how we actually communicate now actually we need to understand that actually how how uh actually people communicated with each other used to communicate with each other a very long time ago so basically like suppose hundreds of years ago communication over a long distance was really a slow slow process you can you can see that that they are actually sending uh, the messages by the carrier and the usually the carrier was a pigeon okay so you can see that key um the messenger also carried any kind of messages you can see this is the messenger and they used to send the messages to others right and um, I mean 
uh, often messengers carried the messages on foot or in the horseback you can see this is the horseback they were a road horse and they uh, used to go in another place and they uh, they give that particular message or information uh, to any particular person so uh, this type of messengers uh, or, or this type of method uh, like uh, giving the message through pigeons or giving the message through um, messengers this took a very long time and today we don't have that much time right we don't have that much time so this is why we actually in a modern days we actually have this type of communication like through books you can communicate now you will understand man books how can we communicate through books now i'm coming to the point but before that um we can also communicate through letter through newspaper through cell phone or telephone through this telephone through this television through this radio through this dream i mean email so this is the actual various types of communication now the next thing is what are the most commonly used means of communication so um <coughs> see communication can be of two types this can be of basically two types number one we have personal communication number one we have personal communication so what is personal communication so this type of personal communication takes place between two or few people right suppose i am asking um odrija that um odrija um you did good in your exam but uh, you can do well later right odrija will tell me yes ma'am actually uh, i had a fever so this is why uh, i did not uh, i mean i could not learn well but i promise you that i will uh, give my best to next time so that means see this is a personal communication so that that means here we are communicating we are communicating this this speaking or that information giving is taking place between two person right so this type of communication can be of like postal communication telephone communication uh, uh, like through um, <clears throat> through postcard through envelopes or through telephone this type okay so suppose so this is the, this so this is like like through postcard postcards is a way of personal communication postcard is a way of personal communication so this is also known as the postal communication or the <clears throat> postal services so let's uh, know about this postal services basically so it is the most popular method of communication we write our messages on the postcards or the in inland papers now this plain paper is then put in a stamped envelope right like this is a envelope you can see that this is a envelope and on this envelope we have a stamp of that particular government and we also have to give a pin pin a pin code a pin code now what is the full form of pin code now this this can be a very interesting question that what can be uh, the the answer i mean what 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 is actually pin code okay so pin code the full form of pin code is do you know it you can tell me what is the full form of pin code okay so i'm telling you the full form of pin code is postal index number suppose i am living in uttarpara and in my area we have the pin code number that is 712252 i mean 258 or whatever 2586 uh, so this is my pin code this is the uh, pin code of my area and you have to put the pin code on your letter i mean the the 
area where you are sending that particular letter so for quick delivery we have a uh, courier service and we have speed post uh this like what is a courier here like courier is someone who takes letters or parcels from one place to another place now there there can be the government courier purpose there can be the um, there can be the private courier purpose like dtdc like or any other like uh, uh, services we have so the next thing is also very important that is the television now i am not uh, i have not uh, given any kind of uh, television pictures yet because i think you all know what is actually television but <coughs> i will share some important facts about television okay so uh, next thing is actually uh, but ha huh, uh, before starting television we will uh, start the telephone what is telephone so we don't have any particular uh, ex uh, any particular um, photo of telephone but yes it is all like it is almost like a fax machine but um, here you, in the fax machine you can see that we have a printer but in telephone we can't cannot um, print anything right but this fax machine walks through the telephone line okay so now let's talk about the telephone let's talk about the telephone so what is telephone so telephone is the fastest means of communication ever we can talk to the people within the city or different city even in the other country so public telephone booths are also provided in some cities um there are two types of basically is uh, <clears> this <throat> basic telephone there number one is landline uh, and number two is cell phone cell phone or landline so landline is a fixed service and mobile mobile mane hocche bhrammoman jeta tumi ghore ghore kotha bolte paro so mobile phones can be easily carried anywhere within uh, a city outside a country i mean wherever you are going you can carry a mobile phone so mobile phones have made the communication faster easier accessible to all over india or out outside of the india also anytime one can send or receive messages from one place to another place while in fact traveling even in the train or in the aeroplane or in the ship this type of phone are known as cellular phone okay and uh, you can also <clears throat> send short messages you, you know we we talk we actually uh, tell this sms the full form as sms is short messages okay or short message sending service so you can can do this now latest we have smartphones right in fact i think um, this type of videos you can uh, this type of video you are seeing in your smartphone so smartphone is kind of mobile that has many other features um like the features you have in the computer and phone in the smartphone you can get the feature of both the feature of both a phone as well as a computer okay now this type of smartphone actually have the advanced technology advanced connectivity uh you can video call the you can video, you can call i mean video call means you can see the picture of that person right and uh, obviously these are basically the touch screen that means whenever you are touching that these are actually replying you i, I mean uh, you you can uh, you can uh, there is no an another option you can touch that now uh, obviously you can record any video you can play music um, you can search anything in the google or in any other website uh, it has obviously digital camera so everything everything so this is actually uh, this kind of smartphone allow us to make calls send and receive messages take pictures listen music recording of the video this kind of uh, phone 
allowing us to do all these things right now also we can send emails or we can also connect to another person through um, internet by using internet now i'm coming to internet or anything but but uh, this is one more thing i want to um I mean, I mean, I, I want to uh, share with you uh, this this thing. I mean, this is not given to your book, but I want to share you. This is the fax machine. In today's generation, we don't uh, use fax machine uh, most. Uh, I mean, uh, this is uh, actually we don't use fax machine nowadays. But there was a time when we actually uh, transmit any text or any images through a telephone line suppose i am calling you and you have a fax machine through the telephone line i'm sending a message and uh, you can just print it out okay so this is a benefit of uh, fax machine because it is a very cheap um, it doesn't need any kind of uh, expensive cabling um it's like a cost of the telephone and cost of the faxing machine were almost same but nowadays we have smartphones so we don't use fax machines uh, generally we use laptop or computer and as well as we use uh, smartphones right next we have this media now media we have uh, now this things this is media uh, now this thing the other type of communication like all these things like radio, uh, postal services telephone services uh, fax machine these were actually the personal communication now this media is an example of the mass communication mass communication okay that means you are communicating with a large large number of people you are exchanging the information with many people at the same time so this type of communication the, this type of communication is known as mass communication and the means of the mass communication are known as mass media what it is known mass media mass media okay now <coughs> what are the examples of mass media the example of mass media is television newspaper radio nowadays we have social media right we all do social media yes or no i think you all do social media we are all active in social media we all we ha all have um, uh, i mean we all have account in uh, whatsapp i, I mean in in gmeet or whatever so that means uh, we are <coughs> now uh, very very modern because the te technology has become modern right now on next day we will actually um, communicate these things we will discuss on these things that how mass media or mass communication has changed our life so this is thing and here i am summing up our session that uh, basically human beings communicate in different different ways they can dif uh, they can communicate personally they can communicate um uh, like in mass so the process of receiving and sending messages is known as communication so very long ago we don't have this kind of message sending services or smartphones so we used to um, write letter or write messages and we send them through messenger or pigeons uh, in today's world we have many many means of communication number one we have postal communication that is the postal services in personal communication we have uh, telephone we have smartphone we have cellular phone uh, including that we also use mass communication to interact or to send or uh, to communicate with a large number of people and uh, we can send the message through postcard by using what by using postal services but we have to use the pin number 
and what is the pin code uh, full form and what is the pin full form the full form of pin is postal i i told you i told you i i will not uh, tell it again okay mm, chalo so the pin full form is postal index number okay next um, so next you have uh, another thing that is test yourself you can test yourself because you have some questions here number one what is communication name a few source of information like few source of information means where you can get information in largely next uh, name the types of communication with example like in here you have to write what is the personal communication what is the one number one is the personal communication suppose uh, let me discuss question like this uh, number one suppose what is the personal communication just me writing this so in personal communication we have telephone uh, we have postal services right uh, <clears throat> and in uh, mass communication in mass communication we have so many types of communication like we have a radio we have newspaper uh, we have television etc so write a short note on newspaper later uh, television so we will not discuss this right now so you can test yourself like uh, you can comment your answer in the comment box so here i'm wrapping up my session i hope you enjoyed a lot um if you can't understand anything uh you can write out your question i will try to solve it in the comment box thank you thank you so much